All right, friends, I am using my phone today, <laughs> using my phone. I'm going to be looking slightly this way because I feel like this is me looking at myself, but I feel like the camera is right here. So I did not want to bring out my regular camera, just using my phone today. Like I said, Happy New Year. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday celebrations with your friends and family and loved ones and social distancing was how we celebrated our um, holidays uh, from Thanksgiving on all the way to New Year's. It was just um, hubby and the kids and I, okay? I hope you guys had as much fun as we did, even though it was limited. <laughs> it was limited for us. We still went and enjoyed ourselves. Took the kids a few times to, um, to go sledding, um, snow hiking. Is, is that what it's called? Hiking? walking in the snow so we had an amazing winter break with the kids and now it's back to work and so here i am <laughs> um all right just this is going to be just a simple video i've already filmed um the warmers that i want to share with you guys um i have a farmhouse theme going on right now in my kitchen and i i've only taken out some of the the kitchen decor but the other half of the living room is already done. So I'm showing you guys part of the living room and then also like the right across the coffee bar into that hallway. I tend to show you guys that a lot because those are kind of the warmers that I um, honestly use up a lot. I change up a lot because it's in the center of our living space. It's the center of the living room and the kitchen constantly passing by it. And then plus whatever I put in there, it goes up into the, the hallway, um, upstairs hallway, upstairs stairway into the bedroom if it's a really strong scent okay no bricks to share with you guys today although i am going to i haven't i haven't opened it yet this um this video is going to be a little bit different than what i've been doing in the past so i wanted to share with you guys what i will be using as well as what i have been using so i wanted to use um the new scent of the month jade and jasmine into the boys room hubby definitely and then jonathan because it's more of a masculine scent so this is our warmer um warmer of the month and scent of the month for the month of january i'm kind of late of uploading that video i think i'll just upload it and mix it with another haul video because i i was away with the family you know with up in the mountains and stuff so i i wasn't able to upload it in time for you guys but i did end up getting the um the rose gold you can get it into rose gold or gold or silver um, for the month of January, 10% off. And the scent is called Jade and Jasmine. Okay. And then these are the different warmers. But Jade and Jasmine is supposed to be um, start fresh with green lemon, blue jasmine garnish with rosemary in this gem of a fragrance. Okay. So I've only cold sniff it. I haven't warmed it, but to be honest, it smells, it smells very masculine and I feel like it'll go perfectly with, um, with my boys, my boys' room. So I'm going to try this scent into uh, my boys' area, but also, um, this is another new, um, scenty bar, but this is vanilla mint. I have been using vanilla mint also throughout the holiday. I love it. Um, it's one of my like really go-to minty minty scent it's just a the vanilla mixed in with the mint it just smells amazing it's it's a year-round scent for me definitely and i want to get away from all those uh spices that we've had during the holidays and vanilla mint is just sure to just you know start up and refresh i call it like a refresh restart scent so uh, really nice scent so i can't wait to put these these two try them out and then what i have been using is french lavender now french lavender i've had for quite some time and you can tell by how it's sweating i don't know if you guys can see that the camera and the light oh there it is you see that when i picked it up it was like kind of gross in my fingers so i had to wash my fingers it was wet it was sticky and it just it doesn't happen with all the the bars because i honestly i've had so many bars for so long like i've had some of these happy birthdays for 
gosh, ever since, ever since I became a Sensi consultant. So that's been 20, gosh, 2016, I think, 2016. And none of my, none of my bars has ever, uh, was, was ever sweated or sweating, <laughs> was ever sweating. So there are certain bars that is just very susceptible to, to sweating. Okay. And so that's why I always recommend to store it this way. I don't have issues like during the winter time, spring and winter, but definitely during the end of the summertime for me, I have had a couple, um, because of the sweating, um, kind of drenched down, um, from the clamshell. So I have French lavender currently, I believe into my pink Himalayan salt into the living room. And I love lavender scents. I really do. But for some reason, I couldn't smell this. I can smell it into this clamshell, like really when I put my nose close to it. But when I have, I just put one into the living room, I just couldn't smell it at all. It was very light lavender scent. And it's a very light lavender scent for me, but for some consultants, it is a very strong lavender. So it just defend, you know, it, it just proves to you that we all have different sniffers, different kind of um, fragrance tolerance with our um, with our noses. Because this one, I love, I love it up close. Could not smell it once it was into the um, the dish. Okay, and then also bedrooms for the girls and myself um happy birthday you cannot go wrong with happy birthday if you want um a sweet girly bakery note it's just an uh, it smells so good it's an um this one is just an all year round uh fragrance um happy birthday currently into my scentsy club and then speaking of um favorite scents Bring Back My Bar voting is currently happening and I have been voting throughout the day, every single day since it started. My Kahiku Hula and my Coastal Strawberry is currently up for votes. So friends, if you are loving Kahiku Hula, Coastal Strawberry or any of the other uh, scents out there, one of your favorites that hasn't been around in a while, go start voting for them. I'm just hoping that this time around, that we get some fresh new ones not that every day like every single bring back my bars like it's right there so hoping for some you know some very good scents but not the usual <laughs> and i understand that's kind of hard because the reason that they keep coming back is because they are very popular but i should ask sensi that since they keep coming back every single time of bring back my bar then maybe we should just keep it onto the catalog so we could vote for something else <laughs> just just my two cents but um don't forget to vote for your favorite scents now happy birthday like i said it's on to my girls' room my room cannot go wrong with that uh peach nectar i'm not ready for spring so i don't know like these last three cents is all about like spring but i'm not ready for spring over here in pacific northwest we do have the four seasons um winter season seems to be much more longer than you know spring and summer but definitely we we get the fall where you put on your scarf and your boots and then we get the winter we get the warm winter we get the cold winter and then we get the freezing winter kind of thing so right now still enjoying winter because it's still snowing over here still raining cold and gloomy so definitely not ready for for spring just want to enjoy that winter uh season but i have been uh warming peach nectar into like the bathrooms um got it into a kitchen i have a couple of warmers into the kitchen so got that in there and then also like the the kids bathroom and i like the hallway you can never go wrong with peach um, peach nectar as well because peach nectar is not it's not too peachy <laughs> it's uh, definitely a spring scent but like i said I, i'm just trying to get away with all the spices from the holiday so kind of giving my my home and our sense is just a restart, a restart button. So enjoying um, peach nectar as well. I have a couple of these um, into my stash of Scentsy bars. And that's it, friends. So I don't have really a lot. You know, you got your masculine scents that I want to put into some of the warmers. And then also been enjoying these uh, three 
very girly, <laughs> very girly floral and sweet scents. So like I said, I hope you guys had an amazing um, holiday break and welcome back to a Simply Simple scent. So let me go ahead and take you guys into my home of the stuff that I've taken out the holiday decor and put in some uh, Valentine's Day and winter theme warmers. As always, I thank you guys for visiting a Simply Simple scent. Mahalo! This area is over into my living room, uh, right side of the TV, right next to the window. And I have just two warmers in here right now. I actually have, I'm saving a spot right here <laughs> for um, some of the new warmers that is coming out come uh, February 1st that I wanna put in here. Uh, so in the meantime, I have Valentine's Day decor, but I do wanna leave this out here for quite a bit. This is the Himalayan, uh, salt and pink uh, warmer and then this is the frontier like starry frontier I believe warmer that I've had during the holidays this one I just uh, brought out and when this came out they also had like the white one which I kind of regret now that I did not get the white one but the pink one is really cute as well now the thing with the Himalayan salt is that um, it doesn't fit evenly onto the base. So if you guys can see towards the back here, I turned it, it's more um, carved inwards. And over here, it's more carved outwards. Okay, it's not evenly carved. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, which is fine because it gives it the natural um, look to it very pretty and very 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 heavy that's why i chose not to put this into my usual like pedestal and then um i didn't put it in here as well like into this little ledge that the boys made me um onto this cabinet and just onto here okay right there i do have french lavender onto here and french lavender i feel like it just didn't it I couldn't really smell it um, throughout just this small living room space. And then over here, then the starry frontier. I love how it's white. It just gives it that um, really nice, still winter, winter look to it. Not necessarily the holiday, which is really nice, uh, prolonging the, um, the time of when the warmer can be put out. This is still in our current catalog, uh, and this one as well. It's part of the um, fall and winter catalog. We are going to have a new catalog come out for the spring and summer starting February 1st. And then I got this one at Marshall's. This one was a three pack of uh, square blocks from Target Dollar Spot. And then again, another Target Dollar Spot. All right, I've shown you guys this area before. This is my coffee bar. And then over here, I'm showing it again because I decided to add that warmer at the bottom. I feel like it's still a winter. Um, it can go towards like a winter, uh, winter decor. Again, my holiday gnome. That was part of the, was it Target Wonderland? collection because it's a soft pink in color again i'm choosing to keep it for valentine's day okay and then the last video i showed you guys the vintage teapot and then over here into my kitchen um i decorated this with some of my country theme uh warmer so i have one two and three, I don't have this one on, so let me go ahead and turn it on. Okay, went ahead and turned that on. Um, I don't have any scent in here yet. I just finished decorating this. So I'm gonna have some of the new scents that I'm gonna show you guys put into here and then also here. I cleaned it so that I can have some fresh new scents. And these are both element warmers. And then this one, it's a 20, is it 25 or 20 watt? 
uh, light bulb for this one. I carried over the Christmas um, dollar spot blocks over here. And then this one was a dollar spot, I believe summer. And then this was the Christmas dollar spot as well from Target. All three of those are Target.